Donna. Hey, how you doing? How are you? Okay, I finally get signed in. <laughs> Yay! Oh, you had to update. Did you have to update because of the Zoom update thing? Uh, I, I think so. Weird. <laughs> well, how are you today? Oh, working. <laughs> oh. <laughs> But tell I can me while I work. Oh, okay. T tell me your uh, involvement. Are you already doing shuffle, or you're just thinking about it? Yeah. Yes, I've already got shuffle. Oh, good. Uh, but uh, you're learning how to I use it. I tried to load them all. You know, like you're breaking up a little bit. I can't hear everything you're saying. And it didn't. So. I, you broke up a little. I couldn't hear what you said. I um, thought that to shuffle. Yeah. And, but it, when I tried to do it, it didn't do it. Um, you, you signed up to use shuffle and you haven't been able to use it? Is well, that no. That put all my contacts in there. Oh. So so that I can send the uh, card to them. May, maybe um, Scola can help, because I just do it as I'm doing it, one at a time. What was the question yeah. I didn't hear? She's trying to put all her contacts in at once. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought oh, you could. <laughs> but it didn't work. So I've been loading them one at a time. <laughs> I mean, that's how I did it, and I'm still all right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, <laughs> I was trying to make take a shortcut. <laughs> I've not done that as one, but let me, I gotta send one more message. Hold on, I got a question that somebody asked me a question. So hold that's on. right. The um, truthfully, Donna, I think the the best use of this is individually. Now, I'm, I'm sure Skull is going to disagree with me, probably, but <laughs> but like when you meet somebody and you ask them for their information, you send them a card, not just unsolicited blasts of everybody you know that's not necessarily going to be the most effective thing oh well now my customers i wanted to put my customers in there right oh okay okay i see what you mean so you could send it to them each individually you mean you, yeah well, but I, yeah but i wanted to load them she just wants to blast everybody no i wanted to load them <laughs> right I but you want to send it once and everybody get it Yes. The same one, right? That's blasting everybody. There's nothing wrong with it. I'm not saying blasting in a bad no. way. <laughs> no, she wants to okay. send it all out at once. No, right. I mean, no, but it's nice to have them all in there. It's easier to do it that way. Let's, let me share my screen and go in because today's class is gonna be on campaigns because I think it's important that you guys learn how to set up some campaigns and um, get some lead capture going on. So, yeah. Okay, well, let me share. I'm making you cookies right now, Wilbur. What kind of cookies? I'm doing clothespins. I don't know what clothespin cookies are. Those would be those really nice cookies that are have the filling in the middle. Oh. So, um, you know, I make them at Christmas time. I never make them any other time but Christmas, but I'm making them for the wedding. <laughs> well, this is an unusual occasion, let's face it. Yes, it's very unusual. So I have Buckeyes made already and I have, um, Pitzel's made, so I'm making clothespins today, and then I'm going to make cutout cookies, and that's going to be the Oh, nice. Yes, I think, um, I think Vicki said she wanted to make brownies or something. I don't know. So anyways, all right, let me look in here and see if you can put contacts in all at once. I've never tried that before, but I'm willing to look and see. Upload picture, new contact, add from Google. So it does allow you to add from Google. I don't see that it allows you to add it from anywhere else. So let's see what Google does. Maybe your phone, maybe Google there's contacts. So your... if you've not connected with Google contacts, you'd like to do that and um, sync your shuffle with your Google and then it'll do it one, um, one at a time. Are all your contacts on your phone, Donna? Oh, uh, yes. Maybe it'll do that. Okay, yeah. I'll have to try that. So try that. And there may be a 
different option from your phone when you're on the shuffle app uh, i haven't looked at that but that might be also because this is the computer well, let me see contacts add scan business card choose from phone contacts yeah. Yeah, you can do it from your phone so you could probably select them all right from here yeah from your phone you can do it okay so yeah. if you try the phone you go to contacts, which is the, the middle one, and then there's a plus sign in the bottom there in like aqua. You press that and you scroll down and underneath the blue dot that says scan business card, there's a orange thing that says choose from phone contacts. So if they're all on your phone, that, that's where you put them in. Oh, okay. Okay, I'll have to do that when I get off work. But um, I did, I did want to say again, <laughs> one of the um, most effective ways to do this is like a business card where you're, uh, you meet somebody and you don't have a book with you or something and you mm -hmm. say, oh, let me give you this now. And then after that, when you update the card, you blasting all the same people because you updated the card. But when right. you first put them in there, people might not click on it or might not because if they don't know it's you. Mm -hmm. If you're already in their phone, it'll say it's you. Right. So well, uh, yeah, I have a few that I've done it with. Oh, okay. Yeah. And usually effective for emailing as well. Now, how do you choose whether you're sending it to their phone or their email? At the, when you go to send the client, when you go to send it all the way through at the end, it asks. Oh, okay. I should have asked did you that ask it well that was a terrible word so i deleted one of my cards so we can start it from scratch and show you um how to do and create a you know we'll call it a curiosity card <laughs> so you want to get today you just feel like getting leads you want to share how this is fabulous tools working for your business and you would like to pick up more people to join you in shuffle and to see not so much customer shopping from you but maybe you have other business people on your social media page so this is um, creating that card and I actually already have a card that I use like this and I'll show it to you um, just before we do it and it's called networking so my networking card is basically just that and it just tells them a little bit about what I do how I like to connect with others it's linked up to my social media, so I get the, the little chat box that shows up, shows my opportunities that I can share with them as well. Um, so this I'll use sometimes. And then I had one before that had a video on it, and I don't know if I, this one, Unlimited Leads. This is Unlimited Leads. I have a video explaining how LFI and Shuffle works, how the lead capture works on them, how they can make their own card. And we do have a gentleman that joined us, um, not on today, but he did join Shuffle just because he wants to build a business with Shuffle. So there are people out there that may be interested in doing this. You'd love for them to have them join with your link if they're going to do that for sure. So all about me, click shop, save. So I always put this on my cards regardless. And then of course, when they watch my video, it tells them all about Shuffle and how to use my referral link at the bottom. So this is, um, I'm going to show you how to do today. So to create a brand new card, as many of you guys already on here already know, but anybody watching us may not know, you just hit the little plus symbol and then it goes to creating a new card. So I'm not going to create one of the first three on here because these first three templates, as we always talk about, have the rolling, um, the carousel on it that you can put up to a hundred different pictures. Um, so those are great product pictures. You can go right to a link if you want to. I'm not gonna use those because I don't want that. I want a simple, card just to capture leads if you don't want to put like a video don't want that to be your main focus is a video now i like to do videos because i feel like it personally touches them a little bit so if you know how to create a quick video on your phone and then you can upload that but um let's not skip it no need to have it let's just go to the picture cards here at the end <laughs> so however you want your picture to show so this one's cute because it's round so i'm just going to select this template That'll be my template, which will work out fine. It'll give me a picture, my social media links. It'll give me a tab. And then um, you still can put a video at the bottom, but it's, that's just not my main focus. This is going to be my main focus. And of course, I want it to have some different kind of a color. So we're going to go with like, yeah, this is a nice color. Now let's go with blue. 
That's a nice color. We'll go with blue. Yeah. All right. No, 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 I didn't want to change the template. I did that. I want to go to next. Sorry. So next, I'm going to use all my information, and then I'm just going to change what I wanted to say. Oh, I picked a good color because my blue is on. That's a nice <laughs> color. Look at me matching. That was, that was the picture I was going to choose. So that's the picture. Um, I'll leave National Recruiter on there. My social media link should be on here already. Um, so that will be all there. And then whatever you, you want to put in the paragraph. This is where it's important to tell them like what this card was designed for. So um, I want to introduce, you know, introduce you to Shuffle. This is an amazing um, customer, customer relationship manager that keeps your god that keeps your contacts all contacts <laughs> all in one place and allows you to share all of your information with one card a digital business card platform that acts like a mini website. So you can give them as much more information as you want. Um, and I will, I would love for you to give this a try. My, my, Oh, no, 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 my, sorry, it, it's capitalized, my referral. <laughs> oh, my referral link is at the bottom of the card. Click there to save $10 on your monthly description right okay so good enough of course added however you want but as you can see it shows up right here I am um, not sure if I want to change the banner but you could if you wanted to and I'm not gonna have a video so I'm just going to change the Georgia because I obviously could have sworn I've done that before so I did that and then go to next this is where you would put your shuffle chat box up if you wanted to follow the um, or the messenger chat box. And if you want the messenger bot on there, you do have to get the code from your Facebook page or um, your Facebook so that you can put it in here and you have to allow it. We're just going to have to do that another time. I have to freshen up on that to actually do a video on it. <clears throat> Oops, picture four, but did I not fill out? Oh, the card title. <laughs> Unlimited leads. That's <laughs> what so we're calling it. Next. So you can't mess up because it's totally going to tell you. So if I wanted to change the logo at the bottom, I could. I'm going to leave it as LFI because I want to kind of advertise it being the card. And then these are all my social links. Check them and make sure that they're all correct. This one's not on here for some reason. I think that's what it is. I got this one. Pinterest is Avon, Lisa. <clears throat> all right. Now they're all on there. And if you wanted to add a video, you would add that here. We've showed that before. Link button. So if you do want to put a link button to Shuffle or a link button to your website or whatever, put that here. Just not going to skip it for now because I'm not going to add a link button. And then once you have your card, just check it and make sure it looks like you want to. It's very basic, as you can see. I don't have anything extra on it. And I'm going to hit save. So how's my little picture on it? The importance of this card today is to show you how to put this up on social media and make it so that people get interested in what you're doing and maybe want to ask you for more information. So you can use this lead capture for your business if you're doing a recruiting push. Are you interested in making more money at home? Would you like to learn about how um, you can start a home-based business for free? You could put that, you can make them send it to your card all about recruiting. Um, so you get the gist on how you can do it. 
you know, if you're a car salesman and you're looking for people that want to buy a car, make that a lead. Did you know that you can get $5,000 off your car and you want more information? That would be how your post would suck. And then you would link that card to it. So once you have your card made, click on the three buttons and you want to go to campaign. So there's no campaigns for this card and I'm going to create a new campaign. I literally make a new campaign every time I update my cards because I like it to give me those notifications and I also like to keep those stats. So, but that's just me. Not everybody does that. So Facebook unlimited leads. This is for you only. Only you see this. Um, booking for shuffle. Chuggle. <laughs> Shuggle. Shuggle. Shuggle leads. <laughs> so then it'll give you your notification settings. This is up to you, individual, on, on, if you want to turn them off, if you just want a daily summary. I like to know immediately, so I'm an immediate person, so I go with the immediate. I want the lead capture at this point. Do you want it at the bottom? Do you want it optional or do you want it mandatory? I am doing a lead capture campaign, so I mandatorily want to get them. They have to fill it on put something in there to get to what my card says. So that's automatically gonna pop up and it's not gonna go away. Optional means it pops up and if they click anywhere on your card, it actually will go away. They don't have to fill it out. So that's up to you. I'm gonna make this mandatory, the mandatory field's first name. I am going to do a short field and get their last name. Mandatory. I also want a contact number so that I can call them. and I'm gonna make it mandatory. I also would like to get an email address if I can, but I won't make it mandatory. And I won't make that one mandatory. And then I want another field. And if you wanted to ask them a question, you could do the radio box, the drop down, the check box. Um, and you, you don't have to do that if you're doing a lead capture just for what we're doing it for. So I'm not going to use that this time because I just want to get their information that they're interested. So I don't want to give them a whole lot and I'm just going to create it. And it always gives you your links now. So you can go ahead and put it right out there on Facebook. You can do this later by copying the link from your campaign, but we're going to go right to Facebook so you guys can see how it works. Since I've never made this campaign before, it should show up perfectly and I shouldn't have to go debug it at all. So this is how it's going to look. This is the most important part on getting your lead capture. It's what you say on your, um, where it says, you know, say something about this. <laughs> we can put something today like, are you looking for a way to grab mm, 10 to 20 new leads a day? from social media. If I told you I could help with that, would you be interested? Click on my link and I will be happy to share my secrets. And of course you wanna use like a go to emoji. So if you ever do this, you can click your little emoji and use the little down thing here so that they see that that's where they wanna click on. And we will share it. Let's post it up. And it's posting. There it goes, posted, posted, excellent. You can copy the link at this point if you wanted to as well. You could also just do it on Twitter and LinkedIn if you wanted to try to grab leads from there. But just for our purposes right now, we'll show you how that looks on Facebook. So there it is, just now. And I'm like, wow, well, yeah, I wanna grab 20 to 20. Yeah, I want new leads. How do you do that? Okay, let me click. When you click on it, Boom, there's your contact information. So this person will have to fill in their first, last name, contact number, and email address and hit submit. So I'm gonna put Sandy Lou, and her number is 7-7. And her email is Sandy Lou at, at email. <laughs> so 
gmail.com. And I agree and I submit. There we are. So I should have that in my shuffle now. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna close Facebook, close this off. We're gonna go back to shuffle. You hear the ding? Ding, ding, ding. So I've got a new kit. Look at that. And somebody viewed it. So I viewed it. And here's my lead. I can click right on the lead. And there it is. There's the, all the information for me to go in. It already has a tag for, for Facebook unlimited leads and lead capture. So those tags are pre-created already. So you know you can go in and find them under tags. And you can collect this all day long. So this is the best way to go and get leads from social media. This is my favorite thing Shuffle does. My favorite. Any questions? It, skip, it just skipped around, so I didn't see when you went to shuffle, where did you find this, these particular leads for this campaign? Right under this notification button. Oh, okay. When you click on it, it showed oh, up okay. right here. Yay. Now, if you want to okay. go under tags, and you go to your tags that say unlimited leads, it should show up under here. Unlimited leads from YouTube. I gotta go back to my tags. That is called Facebook Unlimited Leads. It should be in here. These were on unlimited leads from Facebook that I did. And then there should be one for lead capture as well. The, yeah, right here, lead capture. And this is lead capture. So these are all that I've picked up from doing that. Now, oh man, I could make one up for people non-Avon people already that want to be on campaign mailer. Yes. And I won't have to go back and forth getting their address because nope. I'll make the lead capture their name and address. Yep. Uh, oh, exactly. And, e and email. So any so way you want to get those, office. anytime you want to get leads for anything. So if you want to do a sample push, you know, I see, you know, representatives will put up there, oh, I'd love to send out 10 or 20 samples to the first 10 or 20 people that get a hold of me. Well, then you got to sit there and keep looking at the post. Well, if you make this with your card, with the sample, you can even create it on what you're going to give them so that they can see it once they get past it. And you can have that automatically send it right to it. Send it right oh, in there. Who wants a copy of my color page? Go here and fill out your address. Yep. Instead of private message me. Oh, yep. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's just fantastic and once you start playing with it you're going to love using it now i'll mind you like i've done it on mine before people are like oh i know that's lisa's putting that out there i can see my friends already they're like going through it going oh look at she's trying to get leads again i get more sometimes from twitter twitter from twitter or instagram but if I switch that up and do something different, like, hey, I wanna give free samples away or I'm gonna give away a free copy of my book to the first 20 people that actually fill out my lead capture form. It's just capturing those leads. So it's, it's a great way to get their information. So now you can put them in your system and you can send them anything you want. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Tricky, tricky. <laughs> so any questions on how we do the campaigns? Mm -mm. No? So aren't you excited, Lisa? Isn't that so very cool? I love it. <laughs> that is very awesomely cool. Yeah, how did I not? Well, th yeah, this is bad that I've used it all this time. And <laughs> so if you're on here and have used it any length of time and haven't used all the features, don't feel bad because that's me too. Mm-hmm. How to do that. So what other awesome. epiphanies did you have? Did you see that I created my own shield card this week for... All just the shield products. Nice. I did that. Uh, I was trying to think of what else. I wanted to make another card just this week that was just going to be on one thing. You know what I wanted to do um, on screen share, if you don't okay. mind. Okay. Um, and you it should already let me. you. You can coach me if I don't do it right. I haven't updated a card yet, so I wanted to go into campaign 12 and update it to campaign 13. Good idea. Because I know I'm probably not the only one who hasn't done that yet. How about that? Yay. When you first uh, shared your screen, I'm like, how did I have all those tabs open already? And then realized it was your screen. <laughs> like, whoa. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm getting into shuffle. Log in. 
This should be easy. I haven't done it yet though. And campaign 12. So I want to edit campaign 12. Right, and I need to go look at campaign 12 to see what campaign 12 looks like. So I want to go to the store because that's where I'm going to need the links for. This is like talking while you're working. I do this in my head normally, not out loud. So, <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, on, um, on the store, how do you look at the other brochure now? Shop the brochure without it being the digital brochure. Is it this one? Yep. I, so I'll see what the cover looks like. Yes, okay. So orange, I want orange. And I want that cover right there. View. Mm -hmm. And then I want to save that um, cover. And I'll save it, uh, yeah. campaign 13 and downloads. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm in here. I want to change my theme color in the template one to orange. So everything is orange now, right? Yay, look at everything's orange. Yeah. And then um, I want to keep the same thing and go to next. And then I want to change the card title from 12 to 13. Campaign 13. Yay, okay, the rest of it's all right, except I wrote stuff that I need to also change to 13. Oh, the dates online. Hold on. <laughs> I got to get out the thing. Welcome. Well, my fair shop from campaign 13 on my online store from campaign 13 is March 26th. I mean, May 26th. Do I even know what day it is? 26th to June 8th. So June, whoop. Eight. Okay. So that updated that. And that's all I needed to do on that, I think, on that part. And then next, um, I want a different photo. And that's why I just saved the cover a minute ago and downloads. So, oh look, isn't that nice? Quick crop, there it goes. Save, yay! That's campaign 13. I The logo's fine, the rest of it's fine, right? I just need to change the products. The rest of it's fine. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> okay, so, oh, wait a minute. So the change of product images. This I need to do though, because the links won't go the right place. So I want to un not go right here. Okay. And if you wanted to use the same pictures, you could just replace the links underneath them. Yeah, now I want to do that uh, to, to see how that works. So I'll do this one and then I'll go in the brochure and find that product, right? Yep. Because that's that ought to be highlighted there somewhere. Actually, it would be um, bath and body under bug guard would be quicker to find it than to try to find it the other way. In theory, that would be quicker to find it than to try to find it the other way. Oh, shop now. Um, I like the way on our sites right now, by the way, where they try to uh, shuffle you towards, shuffle, I use the word, shuffle you towards um, a bundle. So this is the picture that I have up there. So I just need the new URL. So that's why I went to the page. I already have the picture. So I'm copying that. I'll go back to shuffle. So I'm just going to delete this. 
and paste. And it's that, that worked. Okay, so, yay. So I'll just do once because I, I don't need to do all of them in front of everybody probably, but then I could add, I'm gonna add one in case somebody's watching that doesn't, hasn't done this before. Right. Okay. Is that all right? Yep, Perfect. I love it. Okay, so add image. Now I'm gonna go back to my store. And you know what, I wanna add that bundle because that is actually, I think, genius because most people who have been buying from me have been buying the bundle because they go on here and can't find the separate products either. And they think, well, I might as well get the bundle. So I think when you first go to that page, you end up with the bundles down here. So I'm gonna add this bundle. Well, I mean, it's a good deal, so probably people buy it for that, but it is coincidental that um, it's hard to find the individual ones, easier to find the bundle, so people buy in the bundle. So I just right-clicked, save the image, and then I'm going to copy and paste the URL, copy, Then I'm going to go back to shuffle, choose the image excuse me image file there's the bundle i saved a second ago i'm going to click crop because that looks good and then right here under the link i'm going to paste that url i copied and then save and now i've got two in my rotating thing and you could do up to 100. it just shows it down the bottom here it's like uh it'll show it and then when I save, you can see two of them. See this two images. So, yay. And that's, I think that's all I need to change. No, yeah. Right? And then next, the social okay. media wouldn't have changed. Confirm and save. Yay. Unless you wanted to put different videos on for it. Sometimes I would change those out for whatever product. So if they're oh, up right. to putting new products up, in their YouTube channel, that makes it easier. And Donna, look, it gives you a chance to blast everybody. You're gonna, you, Donna's gonna kill me because I, I <laughs> she didn't mean to say it that way. And I, I like, know. you're blasting everybody, no, no, no. See, this gives you an opportunity. So when you update, if you have all your customers in, you're right, you're smarter than me, Donna. But because, they're only yes. going to be notified if they view the card. All right. Right, so it's right. not like you're gonna blast them all out, so. No. Only if they, so your regular customers. It would you, shut them down in a heartbeat if we could spam people that easily. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I yeah, think that's I why would, they did, uh, did away with exactly. the uh, proximity thing. Oh, the yeah, beacon. who knows? Yeah, Google. Why so Google share, it on, share it on Facebook so we can share them and show them what it looks like. Have you ever debugged your card? Oh no. Well, yeah, we'll have I'll do you that. do it so that we can show them how. Okay. Facebook well, 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 share to uh, card. Share. Share card. Yep. First option. And I'm going, what? Oh now you gotta copy the link because you didn't make a campaign. I'm sorry. So you have to copy the intractable link and then go into link. Yep, okay. and then go into Facebook. There you go. Now you can do it from Facebook down there. Share to social. Oh, okay. I use the copy. Okay. Yeah, Facebook. You are. Uh -huh. Okay. It should show up the last picture. Oh. There. Well, it was right. Look at that. It worked. That's, no, that's, no, that's the not last your, picture. That's your last picture. So now close that out. Yeah. Now you want to copy that link. Yeah. Okay. So now open up in your browser. Um, Facebook? A new, yeah, just a w new window. New Google browser. And then up in that little thing up there, put in Facebook debugger for Facebook. Oh. Wait a minute. I think it comes right up. And then you want to use the one that says, how to the face keep going down. I think there's one that's called it might be that one up there. How to use debugging tools, developers tools for work. Try that one. Try the debugging, oh, try that one. 
the developer, the developer tools Facebook for developers. I think that might be it. Nope, that's not it. It comes right up on mine because I've used it before. So go back up to the top. So it's one of these first ones. How to use, that's sharing it. So, so yep, there you are. So that enter your URL right there, sharing debugger. <laughs> you paste it in there and debug. And then it'll show a picture and it came right up. Now had your other, cause sometimes they get stuck and then that yeah. picture will still be the same picture. If that happens where it says scrape again, you would hit scrape again until your picture that you have on your card shows up and then you know it's good. Now you can close that out. Oh, you don't have to, okay, okay. And close that out and then go back to your shuffle card. Now share to Facebook. Oh, <gasps> there, it's magic. It's magical. It's like magic. Yep, Facebook for some reason holds on to that in the developer section, it's a cookie on it and it just holds on to it. So it holds the picture and all of it. So you need to actually, you don't have to do that with LinkedIn or Twitter or any other social media, only Facebook. So it's good to know how to debug the card so that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Loranda, that's fine. Catch up the, I'm gonna put it up on YouTube. You can catch it later. Yay. Okay, so then I would just click post to Facebook. Yep, and that's that. Love that. Yay. I know, right? That was easy. It Yay. is. Yay, and then it's gonna be there. Right on your page. Under my fire. Under <gasps> your fire. There, there it, is. it is. I love that. Yay. Yes. Oh, thank you. Yes. I'll have to remember the debugger thing, okay. Yeah, awesome. so now when you go in it, you'll remember that that was the, the debugger, so you can. Facebook debugger. Yes, that it's was good to like have it on magic. there. And then what I will freshen, I will freshen up my knowledge on the whole, you know, going in and adding that chat box because there is a whole process to it, but I'll have to. Oh, the messenger, messenger box. Yeah. Put the messenger brought up and we'll do, a, we'll do one on that too, so. That's awesome. But hopefully that was helpful. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. So did you learn something new, Donna? Yes, I did. Good. I, I did. I did. <laughs> <laughs> I learned a bunch new. <laughs> oh, yeah. Always, always. So, so the ideas um, are just unlimited when it comes to using your card. And like, I like to show it to my, um, to the people in my life that are just all about the numbers and they like to look at the stats and they like to see all that stuff because the shuffle card's so good for that, showing what the stats are and how many people are going in and um, so it's pretty cool. So yeah. what, what um, it's, it's counterintuitive what I say than what I do, but I know I say get as many people as you know to know what you do, but I don't necessarily, uh, I do share this a lot individually. I don't know all the ins and outs, but uh, to me, that means anybody can do this. It's been successful for me. Even yep. not knowing how to use it well, exactly. <laughs> even not, it's because I've used it so much, but I've used it um, running into people mostly. And, and, and I can tell you the yeah. social media thing, there is a company right now, and I don't know what it's called, but it shows up on my feed on the daily um, about the COVID. We're all about not sharing paper and personal things. Some people think that it transmits through, you know, paper and whatever, and I have no idea, and I don't work for the CDC, nor do I want to find out. But if that's how they feel, then they're advertising their digital platform card that way. And this this is the same thing. We have the ability to share our Ours entire is brochure. Way less money. Ours our is entire way less brochure, money. all of the yeah. everything for our business via a text message or a social media link. So we have that ability. And that is something that you really want to tell. There's a lot of people. Oop, you stop, I stopped being able to hear you. Yeah. Neither one of us can hear you. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Was it me frozen? Yeah, now was... I can hear you now. Okay. All I couldn't tell. I'm like, everybody's frozen, except I'm still moving on my screen and I'm going. 
Oh, is me it, and Donna couldn't hear you, but okay. we could see you moving for a minute. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's that time of day, bewitching hour for my computer. Um, but anyways, <laughs> you can definitely use this platform to help, you know, to, to put that out there. Like if you're, you know, in this COVID-19, you know, era we're in right now with the pandemic, more people are not into wanting to share their paper brochures or paper business cards. So this is the perfect platform for them not to have to do that. And even if you don't know all the ins and outs, this can be very beneficial for you. <laughs> Just with one card. And we get 10 cards for the $9.99 a month because you save the other $10 by using somebody's referral link. So if you have anybody that has gone on and they said, oh, Donna, or, you know, Lisa, I don't want to do that because it's $20. You said it was only $9.99. I said, well, it's because you didn't use my referral link. <laughs> so you have to use somebody's referral link to get that discount. And it's worthwhile to keep your banner on every card you send out because a percent of people want to use it too when they see how cool it is. Because yes. I wanted it right away. Once she showed me, I wanted it right away. Uh, it was um, somebody I met at some conference showed it to me. And uh, right away I wanted it. And it wasn't long at all where it was paying for itself. And yes. then now I make money on it. And I don't know a fraction of what Scola knows about it. And I still do fine with it. I, I, make a, I, I uh, get a lot of business for all my businesses using it and it's so and just imagine what you're going to do now with that lead capture right. oh. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> just imagine how it'll be so worth it when i actually use it with all the features instead of right? bare minimal <laughs> now <laughs> all your platforms but anybody listening it's still worthwhile if you only learn a little bit at a time because now i've been using it for three years been using it very limited and it's still been well worth it Yes. So it's, it's just a, a great tool. It is. And then like that same card that you put lead capture on, keep in mind, it gives you a QR code. You can use that QR code. You can print it on little labels. You can put it on your brochures. You can put it on your event tables. You can put it on your wrap for your car. Um, you know, so whatever you want to do with it that they use the QR codes for all the time now. So that's awesome. That's cool. Yeah. So homework, got homework. Your homework is to make a campaign card for lead capture. So make something up, whatever you wanna do it, whether it's for your business or for birthdays, or maybe you're gonna do a free sample or whatever it is, but do, do that kind of a card and then do the campaign with the lead capture and share it on Facebook. And then if you have to, you can tag us in it, you can put it up in the group and let everybody else see it, share what you learned from viewing this video today, because we really wanna get more people interactive with these trainings. Lisa and I were talking yesterday. We're like, it'd be fun if, you know, as everybody starts learning more, if you want to come on and share something that you might have learned that worked well for you or one of the cards that worked so we can start sharing it out with everybody. Yay. Yay. Sounds like a Yay. plan. I'm so, going to do that. All right. Well, I'm going to go finish making cookies. Yay. Cause I'm going <laughs> to eat some of them cookies pretty soon. <laughs> Yep. Nobody's going to eat them until we get there. So there'll be cookies. One week from tomorrow. One week from tomorrow, I leave here. Yes. Yay. The countdown has begun. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yay. Yay. All right, y'all. I'm going to stop the recording. And again, before I stop, if you didn't have a Shuffle account and you're interested because you got this from YouTube, as a lot of people do, feel free to talk to the person that shared this video with you if they shared it or my link is of course always in the comments so always of course go to the person who shared it with you give them some love